Hello, welcome to Chris's Quick Tips for Google Sheets. This video looks at a number of functions that convert between the date, month, year, hours, minutes, and seconds that we understand, and the date numbers that Google Sheet uses to store dates and times. In this video, I will use the date represented by the number 44057.64. This number is in cell B4 and is used in many of the functions that I will cover in this video. If all you want to do is display this number as a date and or time, then you don't really need a function. All you need to do is to change the formatting of the cell. The other cells in row four all contain a simple formula equals B4 so that they all contain exactly the same number 44057.64. However, you will see that the formatting displays either just the date or just the time or both the date and the time. I can temporarily change the formatting back to number and this will show that all the cells in row four contain the same number. Google Sheet allows you to define your own custom date and time formats. So if you only want to change the way a date or time is displayed, you can probably do this using a custom date format rather than Sheet's date and time functions. A date and time is made up of the elements date, month, year, hours, minutes, and seconds. There is a Google Sheet function that allows you to extract each of these elements from a date and time number. The day function extracts the date from a date number. The sheet shows that the date number 44057 is equivalent to a date of the 14th of the month. In row four, you can see that when the number is formatted as a date, it is the 14th of August 2020. So 14 is the correct date. Similarly, the month function extracts the month as a number, which in this case is eight, which is August. And again, this matches the date formatting in row four. And the year function extracts the year as a number. The date number has a decimal part. However, this is not used by these three date functions. The decimal part of the number is used by the three time functions, hour, minute, and seconds. The hour function extracts the hour element of the time of day using a 24 hour clock. Again, this matches with the time in row four where the number is formatted as time. The minute function extracts minutes elements of the time of day, which in this case is 21 minutes past the hour. And this matches the number formatted as time in row four. Finally, the seconds function gives the number of seconds in the time of day. It is also possible to get the day of the week using the weekday function. This function has two arguments. The first argument is the date number which in this case is the cell B4, which equals 44057. The second argument allows you to specify whether to use Sunday or Monday as the first day of the week. Monday is the first day of the week for me, so I put two in this argument. However, if you prefer Sunday to be the first day of the week, then put a one where I have put a two. The function returns a number one to seven, representing the day of the week. If, like me, Monday is the first day of the week, then one will equal Monday. However, if you prefer Sunday to be the first day of the week, then one equals Sunday. So in this case, the weekday function returns a five, which means that the 14th of August 2020 is a Friday. There is no function to return the name of the day of the week instead of a number. However, if you need the day of the week as a text string in a cell, then it is easy to change the day of the week number from a number to the name of the day of the week using a lookup table. The weekday function allows you to have a cell containing the day of the week, which your sheet may require for calculation, grouping, or sorting of the data. However, if all you want to do is display the day of the week for a date number, the simplest solution is to change the display format for the cell to a display format that includes the day of the week. This cell uses a custom date format that includes the day of the week. Custom date formats can be set by clicking the format menu, then number, 
than more formats, then more date and time formats. Ensure that day is included in your custom date format and you can then display the full or abbreviated name or a number representing the day of the week. If you only want the day of the week and nothing else, then delete all the other date elements as well as any text. There are also Google Sheet functions to allow you to convert the other way from date, month, year, hours, minutes, seconds to Google Sheet date numbers. To get the Google Sheet date number, use the date function. The three arguments are year, month and date in that order. This function does not use either the UK order of date, month, year or even the US order of month, date, year. The date function returns the Google Sheet date number of the date. This will always be a whole number. In this sheet, I've used the date, month and year from the elements that were extracted from the date number in cell B4. The formula calculates the date, 14th of August 2020, which matches the date displayed in row 4 and the date number also matches the whole number in row 4. Similarly, the time function can be used to calculate the Google Sheet time decimal number. The three arguments are hours, minutes and seconds. And once again, I have used the time elements that were extracted from the date and time number in row four. The time matches the time in row four and the decimal time number matches the decimal element 0.64 in B4. To combine the Google Sheet date numbers and the decimal time numbers, simply add them together. This then gives you the Google Sheet number specifying the date and time, which of course matches the date and time in row 4. This shows that from the date number 44057.64, we have extracted the date, month, year, hours, minutes, seconds, and then converted them back to the Google Sheet number. Google Sheet also provides functions to convert a text string with a date and or time into a Google Sheet number. The value function takes a text string and converts it into a Google Sheet number. The text string must have the date and time in a format that Google Sheet understands. The examples show some of the formats that Google Sheets understands. The text string can include just the date, or just the time, or both the date and time. The date value function will convert any date in a recognisable format into a Google Sheet date number. If the text is a time, then this function just returns zero. The time value function will convert a text string, which includes the time in a recognisable format, into a Google Sheet time number which is a decimal number between 0 and 1. If the text includes a date, the date will be ignored. If the text only includes the date and no time, then the function will return 0. There are a lot more time and date functions which are covered in other videos available on my channel. Click to watch the playlist containing all the other videos about date and time functions. There is also a playlist with a lot of videos covering other Google Sheet functions and functionality.